Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to add custom vehicles to your 5M server. So, uh, I'm going to show you the two ways to add them. The, uh, the easy way, the drag and drop way, and the somewhat optimized structure way. So let's stop, uh, start by the easy way. First of all, you go to any link you want. Uh, GTA 5 mods, any actual like LSPDFR, the 5M forums, any place and download the vehicle you want. Okay, in this video I'm gonna show you to how to add add-on vehicles and non-add-on vehicles. For example, let's choose this uh, Ford Mustang. Download it. This is an add-on like it says over here. You simply download it. We'll leave it over there downloading. And we go to vehicles. And we type in 5M. And this should be... Oh, I like the other better. This should be here. Add-on and 5M. Let's download both of these. I'm dragging over here. So the Audi is the 5M ready one. And this vehicle over here is the FMG D is the non ready one. So what you have to do is go here and search in open IV. You don't know really download this of course. Then after you download it, we'll have something looking like this. So Let's start by the, this is the, the add-on vehicle. Let's download the actual add-on vehicle. Drag it over side. Uh, it will look like this, DLC the RPF. It has the, uh, it's linked with OpenIV directly. So we just have to open this and OpenIV will start. We'll go like this, it's starting. Meanwhile, let's create a resource and call it, uh, what was this car? Oh, the Mustang. Let's call it Mustang. And the Mustang file, we should create the stream and the data for the Mustang. So we need the stream, the actual stream file for the the car and the metadata for the car. So we leave this here, leave this here. Anchorize a bit. So after we open our open IV, we go on edit mode. It's uh, it's gonna automatically open the DLC or RPF you choose. You go X64 actually levels GTA vehicles vehicle RPF, and this is our actually ve actual vehicle. This is stream, we extract it as desktop. Did uh, I didn't extract this? We forgot the YTD. Extract this to the desktop too. After extracting both of these, we go back to the vehicle mods. These all are the wings and deliveries for the car. In case you have, I'm gonna add them anyway. I'm gonna actually export it to the Mustang and the data. It's gonna be in the data of the Mustang. We go back for the common data. And here we go the handling, the DLC.txt, car vision, car clause. We need all of these. Uh, we extract. And the data. Uh, we don't need the rest here, only the vehicle's meta and this. We need it too for the vehicle to work and the data too. So, quick recap you go X64 data, uh, my bad, X64 levels, CDA vehicles, the vehicle RPF file, and get all the, RP, the uh, YFTs and YTDs. And if you have the vehicle have mods, custom liveries and such, you go here. Uh, like multiple liveries, not only like one or two. Uh, else, uh, for the, the actual data vehicle metadata, you go to common data levels CDA for the vehicles the meta, and here for the needed uh, other vehicle meta files. We forgot to 
bring that rest of here. Let's just drag him there. There we go, our car is finally ready. We put this on the side and we open this Audi. This should be 5M ready. Here I don't 5M. Here we go, it's 5M ready. Copy it. Open our server files. We go to the resources, resources again, and in the vehicle section, we put in this vehicle. I'm gonna copy the resource the Lua. Go to the Mustang. We copy that there. Take all the data out for now. And this is the Mustang. Okay, vehicles. Put the Mustang, Mustang over there. So this is the the silly main way of just getting the car easily in. I'll show you really quick in game how it looks like. First, we're gonna start by uh, opening the actual server from materials, the server artifacts, and you press the FX server or you press the start dot bat and it's gonna actually start the server for us. Thank you very much to start dot bat. There you go, as you see, it's loading in the, all the data of the vehicle here. And it should be done. Should be done. So let's, let's try and hop on. We we'll press F8. Hmm. Maybe try this local host. Here we go, you're connecting. So we are actually here. All we have to do is open TX, spawn, and in spawn we have to go to 5M trail, files, resources, vehicle, and the R8, and this should be the spawn code R820. The YTD is the main one, so we go with YTD R820, or we go to the vehicles.meta, and here we go, if you see in the meta files, the model name is the and takes the name is R82, so that should be it. So if we type in here R820, our vehicle is loaded, and this is the Audi, the 5M ready vehicle. Let's go to the other vehicle, which is the Mustang. And the Mustang spawn code is this the FMGT. And let's really my bad, really quick spawn this as you see this is it oh let's close already as you see this is it I think how cool this car is with all it has multiple liveries as we said we did bring the vehicle multiple liveries like you see here Let's get back here and let's make this an actual compiled resource. So all you have to do is create a new folder, call it uh, cool cars, whatever you want to call it. Okay, first thing is you need to add this. So this is uh, it's like the FX manifest to bulk all the vehicles. So all you have to do is copy paste this. I will leave it in the description. It has the uh, the uh, it's normal FX manifest. You can add description and the author if you want. So all it does is, like you see here, it takes the this is whatever uh, name this has and whatever meta file it has, etc. It goes through all of them, takes all of them, and so all we have to do is put this file in, and here, make a folder called stream. And make a folder called data and we're gonna get the Mustang. We're gonna paste it here in the data files and we're gonna remove the stream and the resource.lua and paste the Mustang back in in the stream file. But now we're gonna remove all the data files and only keep the good. 
we delete this we're back so now all we have to do is go back to vehicles delete uh, before we delete the Mustang, we get the R82. We copy it, we go to cool cars. Uh, we go to data, copy this here, and keep only the data. Go to stream, put all of this here, and delete the data because we're in the stream files, and we're gonna have to put the stream files outside of course here we go everything should be set up we we can now see if we delete the mustang and the ra2 and see you in a second because we have to restart the server obviously here we go we go on the LAN Okay, as you can see, we just spawned in back again. Let's no clip really quick. Go somewhere here, I guess. We open the X because we use you, we are good, we love the X. And uh, it's RA20, like you see. The car spawned in, stole it perfectly, everything works on the vehicle. Go back to the the files and resources and vehicles, the goal cars, you will see that it's it's only this well works. This is the like the bulk resource file, the main one. You can customize it wherever you want, but this is our Audi PT80. Here you go, as you see. Okay, I thought something wrong with there. Well, it's perfectly fine. So, uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and I guess see you in the next video. Bye bye.